In this video, we're going to explore division as sharing and learn how to split things equally. Have you ever shared sweets or toys with friends? What happens if everybody needs to get the same amount? When we share things equally, we're using division. Let's have a look at an example of division as sharing. Here we have four toys that need to be shared equally among four children. Let's divide them fairly and find out. One toy for you. One toy for you. One toy for you. And one toy for you. How many toys did each child get? Each child got one toy. So when we share four toys equally between four people, each person gets one. This is how we write it as a calculation. Four divided by four equals one. Here's another example. We have four fish and we need to share them equally between two people. How many fish will each person get? One fish for you and one fish for you. We still have some more fish so we can continue sharing. One for you and one for you. Each child got two fish. So when we share four fish by two people, each person gets two. This is how we write it as a calculation. Four divided by two equals two. Let's have a look at another example. We have six sweets and we need to share them equally between three people. How many sweets will each child get? One for you, one for you, and one for you. We still have sweets left over, so we can continue sharing. Another one for you, another one for you, and another one for you. Each child got two sweets. So when we share six sweets by three people, each person gets two. This is how we write it as a calculation. Six divided by three equals two. Here's another example. Two friends are sharing eight apples. How many apples will each child get? Let's start by giving them one each. We still have some left over, so let's keep sharing. Each child got four apples. So when we share eight apples between two people, each person gets four. This is how we write it as a calculation. Eight divided by two equals four. Here's another example. We have 15 lollipops and we need to share them equally between five friends. How many lollipops will each child get? Let's start by giving them one each.
We still have some left over, so let's give them another one each. We still have some left over, so let's keep sharing. Each child got three lollipops. So 15 lollipops shared equally between five people is three. This is how we write it as a calculation. 15 divided by five equals three. Here's the last example. We have 12 slices of pizza and we need to share them equally between two friends. How many slices will each friend get? Let's start by giving them one each. We still have quite a lot left over, so we're going to continue giving them one each until we have none left. Each person got six slices. So 12 slices of pizza shared equally between two people is six. This is how we write it as a calculation. 12 divided by two equals six.